Beautiful morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, there's like quite a few of us, I think 12 or 14 of us out today for um, Max's OPP member guest tournament. Um, kind of waiting around for the pillow to show up. So uh, hopefully we can get on some fish today for the tournament. Brought the goldfish cam. Um, normally for a tournament, I wouldn't bring it, but ah, what the heck, let's get some footage. Anyway. Check in again later. I don't think anybody else know there's knows there's bait around yet. So it's kind of a good thing. Oh damn, strong guy. Get back on him. Elliot down. Elliot. Hey, 7 one -oh. I'm on him. Oh, there we go. Nice. out soon I think they're moving out deeper a little bit they're not they're not biting as much now though I got enough to last me a while yeah I think I got like a either 10 or a dozen you gonna start moving out already Delicious moose be. Thanks, Marie. Hooked up. Toward me. Yeah, there we go.
It's kind of neat, it hit at the surface, but then it dove down. Wonder if I caught that splashing on the surface on the head cam. Color. <clears throat> oh, where is he? Look at those colors. Super weird hook job. Hooked them in the gill plate. Nice. Aqua on board. I happen to still have the underwater cam on when I brought the Aqua up and it caught some pretty cool views of just how vibrant the colors are and I thought it'd be neat to see how those top fins work. Nah, Dev. Whew, check out these collars. Lightning. Woohoo. Beauty. Well, at least we are on the board for the tournament. Got a opaka paka in the bag and a uh, pretty decent sized aku. Probably, I don't know, between 16 and 18 pounds, I would guess. So, at least no skunk today. That's awesome. At least my partner Elliot and I are on the board. It's um, aggregate weight. So, um, I think total of five fish for reef and five fish for pelagic. So it'd be nice to get another couple of each or something to to get that weight total up. But um, eh. right now I don't think there's too many fish caught, so we're in an okay spot still. Anyway, um, hopefully we can get a bit more video of a few more catches. All right, see you soon.
Oh, nice vehicle. Look at these sons of bitches. These big ahas. Some big ahas running around right by me. Yeah, I seen them by me earlier. There's about four of them. Uh oh, that feels sharky. Well, I'm hooked up earlier, but I don't know. It's feeling kind of sharky to me. That is a shark run if I've ever heard one. Well, it's going to be a big waste of like 45 minutes. <laughs> oh man, damn that's a lot of opelu. I don't even have a damashi set up, my damashi just got broke off. Oh boy, <laughs> huge school. Maybe I should just let the rod holder fight this shark and I should tie it and meet Damashi. I don't want this guy to tip me over though. He's pretty strong. Approximately 10 hours later. Oh, some splashing out there. Oh, well, there we go. Broke off. Probably just chased me off. Downrigger. So bait down low and that one wasn't a coolie. Almost guarantee that's a shark. <laughs> a Lolo. <laughs> Did he get one? I decided to run that goldfish cam during the tournament and I just had a dead bait on there. I wanted to try out the, um, I think it stays more steady and in focus with a dead bait on. But um, as I had it out, the live bait kind of found that dead bait and started swimming around it. You can see the line start tangling there. And uh, it just proceeded to get worse and worse and worse from that point. Um, I'll jump forward a little bit and you can see it. it's starting to really start spin. Um, the live bait's really starting to spin around the, the dead bait line here. And I'll jump forward a little bit more in a second and you'll see some aquas come check out the jumbled mess of these two baits underwater and uh took one look at it they're like nope that looks terrible so they decided to swim on off <laughs> dang And this is what happens when you have bait running too low. All those hoggies just tear it apart. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.